Man, you really can't make this up. Today is one of those days. One of those days, you know, when you come out exploring, right? And you don't exactly find what you were expecting to find. You know what I mean? I was so excited when I looked up on Google Maps, you know, two blocks from my hotel. Down here in Clearwater, Florida, there was this place called Glen Oaks Park, right? Two beautiful ponds that connect to this creek called Stevenson Creek. And I was like, man, that sounds like paradise. I've been to Clearwater a few times in the past, shot YouTube videos over here, but I never really explored a freshwater environment around this area, right? So here's Leo Shang. I come down here to do a species assessment, and I kid you not, this, <laughs> this is the park. By the way, that's the pier, one of the piers in the park. As you can see, there's no water in front of the pier. This place has been reduced to a pool of water that goes through a little stream all the way over there, right? Dude, you really can't make this up. You see, it's all dried up over here. The whole pond, dude, is just dried it up, man. There were signs over here saying, be careful that we don't molest the alligators. Let me tell you something. I don't think I have to worry about no alligators today. But that being said, ladies and gentlemen, we shall not give up on today's mission. We are at 127 different species of fish for 2023. And as far as there is water, even if it is just like a tiny little stream, you know? Oh, there's fish to be called, you feel me? We're going to be hopping spots today all around the Stevenson Creek. <laughs> and do a full species are there even fish in this place but we're going to do a full species assessment so stay tuned let me get my gear together we're going to use different technique is there even fish we're going to use different rigs different techniques micro micro fishing i don't know man we, we'll see don't even talk about wetting your lines, son. Before wetting the lines, we actually need to find a suitable environment to actually wet the line. I just came from that little entrance over there. That's like the beginning of the park. Dude, we need to find like a pool that is, you know, deeper than that. <laughs> deeper than that. I don't know. There, there's like a few little mosquito fish in that pool. And that's about it. I'm gonna cross over here real quick. I mean, don't take me wrong. This is a beautiful environment. I can see some fresh water. I don't know if those are mussels or clams, but you know, once upon a time when the water was filled here, right? This is a perfect place, man, for all for all the birds, right, and the fish to kind of feed, feed over here. You see this kind of type of clams, right? That's like a type of food that birds, in particular, around this area, the ibis. And all those, oh, wait a moment, wait a moment, whoa, wait a moment. Oh, darn, I should have shot the intro after I came here. Look at this. Oh, there's still some water left around this area here, man. Oh, that is what's up. Okay, so this is the upper portion of, of the pond. There's a set of two ponds in this park. Oh, there's a dude on the other side there with a chair walking the margin like I am here looking for alligators over here too <laughs> here to fish okay there's some water there's some water around here but the thing is I don't really see any fish that's the problem I see birds and turtles oh and the water actually does look really really shallow but if there was any fish in here before right it has to be in this pool of water, so shallow pool. Hmm. Okay, let's get the rod ready. <sighs> yeah, gator went down again. Look at that. Boom. Yeah. Kind of feel like I'm fishing a fish tank with two gators. Oh my lord! 
fish on. Finally. Oh, it's a bass, dude. Bass took the Z-Spender. Let me get it out of the water real quick here, because, you know, I don't want no gator to come after my bass, son. Oh, my Lord. So, at least there's one fish in this pool of water. Okay, well, there you have it. I'm going to unhook it real quick here, but... Oh, easy now, easy. There you go. Everyone talking about the gator, the alligator. Let me tell you all something. The alligator is the least of my concerns, okay? I'm more concerned about the fish, man. Well, at least we know now that here, there's at least one species left, okay? The, <laughs> the large mouth bass. <laughs> Haven't seen nothing else today. Only two gators just around this area over here. Uh, better a uh, gator better not mess with the Asian man. We eat gators, bro. Yeah, that's right. Dude saw me catch the bass. He's coming my way now. Careful, dude. There's two gators here, bro. Don't want to get attacked by the gator. They're fast. Ooh, there's another one. Ooh, another bass, dude. Oh, yes, my man. Whew. Well, all right, man, at least it's a good day of bass fishing out here down in Florida. You feel me? This one's a tad bigger than the last one. Don't want to cause too much commotion because, you know, this gator in this little pool of water, they are hungry. You feel me? Cause too much commotion, man. They come after your bass. There you go. Healthy, though. Very healthy. I'll be Glow is doing a great job out here today. Beautiful, beautiful bass. I'll give you that. All right. Back it goes. Second one of the day. That's what we come down here to Tampa. Clear water for, I guess. <laughs> Large mouth bass fishing. Clean my line a little bit. Ooh, fish on. Dude, use the opportunity to clean my line. Another fish hit. Come on, don't let it be a bass, bro. Are you kidding me? Is it only largemouth bass over here? Is that what it is? Ay, 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 man. They're nailing the Albi Glow. One of my favorite colors from the new collection, too. But the thing is, dude, it's all bass, bro. Look, look at that, dude. It's all largemouth bass, bro. Didn't come down here to Florida <laughs> to fish for no bass. Well, at this point, you know, circumstances man i'm going to take whatever comes my way you feel me gee dude half dry pond i'll take a bass four large mild bass so there we go oh yeah the fifth one of the day this one's got a little bit more weight to it. Kind of feel it. Dude, no! Yeah, okay, it's just a bass. Thought it was going to be something different, but no. Oh my lord, it jumped up. Easy, dude. Take it easy. Yeah, it's a little bit bigger than the last ones, but... Ah, uh, yeah. Take it easy, my man. Yeah, biggest one of the day so far. Hey, not bad, dude. I'll be glow, you know, top of the mouth. Okay, I'll take it. Well, there's that. At least we know now that there's something in here that is bigger than a pound. Hey, you are a good bass, good day of bass fishing, you know? Good day of bass fishing, can't complain. Oh man, there's another hot day down here in Florida, I'll tell you that. Before we continue fishing, this godforsaken, this little dried, half dried up pond, here are a few remarks that I would like to give about this place. Up to now, I have caught six large mouth black bass, the Micropterus salmoides, from this place. The biggest one being just a little bit over a pound. I think I left footage of five of them in this video, although I know that there are some other species of fish around here. Once in a while, when you see those fish popping up on top of the pond over here, those are actually sailfin catfish, aka plecos, 
so I know that this place is infested with them around the margins of the little pond too I can see tiny little eastern mosquito fish the Gambusia Holbrookie the funny thing about it is that Florida you know in the in their website they list the Stevenson Creek as an imperiled creek which kind of makes sense right because it is in an urban environment and there is a lot of trash over here but that being said I've seen a lot of wildlife around this area since the morning from turtles to different types of chickens right even a rabbit man and there are two gators over here too not just one like the gentleman said earlier that there's one that is tiny and there's one that is <laughs> you, you don't want to mess with those you know so I, I just switched to a little EPF swim okay I got my favorite color over here pink one inch paddle tail this is the perfect spot really to cast a Z spender because the pond is half dried up it's very shallow and the Z spender doesn't dive too deep so you do that slash slash stop motion right and the bass go crazy about it but I'm going to give a few casts with the with the EPF swim over here and after that I think I'm going to hop spots go somewhere else connected to the Stevenson Creek because I mean I just refuse to end the day with just large mouth bass yeah so give a few casts and perhaps I'll see you on the other side oh man that is some good water right there and I saw something getting spooked right around there I've been walking along the Stevenson Creek and there's some good water you know a little bit deeper in some areas a little bit shallower this is definitely more like a creek right but one of the biggest problems one of the biggest problems as always access not only access but you know after that gator over there man, I don't want to go down right risking that in the grass somewhere along here dude there may be gators but finally oh look at that look at this finally we got a little bridge area right let's come to the bridge over here holy smokes dude that's a lot of turtles down there holy smoke yo there's gonna be more than 20 turtles in this hole right here that is crazy man all right let's come to the bridge over here and check it out real quick Man, that is one crazy chick that passed over there with no teeth holy smokes oh there's fish there's a lot of turtles here but there's fish down there what are those though dude those do not look like bass bro those look like those look like tilapia what stevenson creek here tilapia what all right take it easy people take it easy we'll find out soon enough no trespassing prohibido el paso oh only school property right behind the fence the school property there ain't no school property i'll tell that much easy now easy leo <coughs> i saw some fish right over here yeah man we already spooked them when we're dude there's a big ass gar right in front of me bro i'm gonna spook it because we're gonna fish anyways but look at that there's a big ass gar i don't have gar this year yet and those those look like tilapia of some sort actually i have no idea what they are but holy moly there's gar here bro and some tilapia cichlid all right all right all right easy now easy the gar we spooked it's time to get our gear ready yo this is some crazy stuff that we're encountering out here I don't have yet I believe I don't have yet any type of gar for my 2023 species challenge list now the thing is for the gar 
we actually need some type of, uh, you know, we, we can't really do lures, right? They would bite on lures, but prying bait is like cut bait, right? So I'm preparing my ultralight right now, man, with my Vin Ford 500, four pound stats line. I'm gonna try to catch one of these cichlids or tilapia or whatever is down there. And after that, we're gonna chop it up, man. And hopefully we're going to add that gar. I mean, I kind of spooked that gar, but it's still around this area. Hopefully we're going to add it to the list today. There we go. My, I got my cut bait right here, son. What is that, bluegill? Yeah, that's perfect for cut bait right here. Look at that, eh? Little copper nose bluegill, Lepomis macrocerus. Oh man, took a little while too. Size 18 hook, little piece of fish bites because I don't really have any live bait with me. Now we can chop this dude up and I hope that gar is still around this area. Well, as always, I got good news. And I got bad news, right? The bad news is that I got my cut bait ready. I got it on my rod right now. Single hook. That gar is nowhere to be found around this area. And I promise you, ladies and gentlemen, I promise you that if I, if I wasn't shooting a YouTube video, I would not have approached this particular spot the way I did in this video, right? Because when you are shooting a video, you need to think about the plot, you need to think about the footage. And I just thought it would be a wonderful idea to do one scene, you know, where I come down from over here and pow, right? Just kind of show you the fish diversity around the area, which was great for YouTube, but kind of sucked for fishing because once you spook them, any angler knows it is just very, very hard to catch him well that brings me to my to my good news right the good news is that even though i spooked those cichlids and weird fish i did end up catching one of those mysterious tilapias after i caught the bluegill so i got it here in the tank i took enough photos of it already look at that dude ain't that a mysterious tilapia what in the world is this it's got yellow dots here at the back of the dorso it's got a blue pink all throughout its body right anyways this could be a lifer for me this is this could be a new species for 2023 if you know what this is type it in in the comment section below and let me know okay there's a whole school of them right around that area i just cast whoop, my fish bites tiny size 18 hook right and one of them kind of took it that way. So that is kind of like the good news. Ah, three species today so far. I got my cut bait. I'm start walking. I'm going to start walking that way now to try to find that gar. Oh, man, what is going on here? Tchoo can't find that gar anywhere oh man what is this some type of dam oh yeah it's a dam wow I tell you all what if this is a dam the gar has to be somewhere in between in between there and in between this dam right so oh wow this is a very unique type of uh of dam if this is one Let's come here check it out. Dude, this is like my first time hitting all the spots. I'm not familiar with the area at all. Oh, all I know is that it is hot as heck. Man, this is Florida for you, okay? It's hot as heck. Whew. A dam, huh? Oh, yeah. I see a turtle down there. Dude, it's pretty deep over here. That's for sure. Well, at first glance, I don't see any fish around here, but I'm going to keep my cut bait on my hook over here. Just Oh, there's a gar. There's a gar. I don't know if it's the same one or not. The problem is the gar is right behind the turtle. If I, if I cast my cut bait right next to the turtle, the turtle is going to get it before the gar. I'll have to entice the turtles to swim over. Oh, it's going away. It's going away, dude. Time to cast for the gar. 
I see the gar. I'm gonna cast after it and bring it back. The turtles scare the gar away. You can't make that up. That's the problem with a spot like this, dude. There are so many turtles. The turtles scared the gar away. Man, the gar is still there. But there's like six turtles around the gar too. How am I going to catch the gar with a piece of cut bait when I know that all the turtles love cut bait? Yeah, look, 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 look. Dude, all the turtles, bro. That is crazy. And the more I cast, the more the gar is swimming that way, and the more the turtles are swimming this way. See, only the turtle is swimming over there. I can't let the turtle grab it. I, I'm not here fishing for turtle, man. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, right? Even a chicken came over too? What is going on here, dude? We got like... Dude, I'm not even making this up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 turtles, dude! And a chicken! And a chicken! In one spot, in one guard! Ain't gonna be easy! Ain't gonna be easy! I have to say, I never had to play a game like this when trying to catch gar. This is the first time I've seen this kind of stuff, man. Have to, to, uh, not only have to find the gar. Dude, no, you're kidding me now. You're just messing with me. There's a catfish sucking on the turtle shell. A selfie catfish. Are you kidding me, bro? Unbelievable. But anyways, as I was saying, this is the first time I have had to play this type of game that I need to... Oh, oh, the gar's coming. The car's coming. Oh, got my cut bait. Got my cut bait. All right, all right. I'm going to give it time now. I'm going to give it time. I'm not going to set the hook, dude. Now I'm going to give it time, dude. I'm going to give it time. That's right. Eat it, dude. Now it's fine. The turtle's not going to go after it because the gar already got the cut bait. So I'm just going to give it time until it eats. You feel me? Gonna punch a little bit of line out. We just wait. This is the moment of the truth. Should have that gar on. Oh yeah, the gar's on, boy. The guys, the gar's on. The gar's on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, boy. Oh, now I have to flip it. Get in the boat. Whoa, rod start. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. First gar of 2020. First gar. First gar. Whew. Of 2023 right here man these gar they got an attitude man they are not easy fish to handle even with both hands you know so we gotta watch out a little bit over here there's gonna be a quick look quick release okay florida gar right over here you see it's still trashing still strong it's being the bucket i'm gonna throw it back over here real quick final view dude trashing around like that man i just put it in the bucket actually i don't even see now where did it go I, I i took my polarized lenses off for a moment dang dude that that beast yo that beast legit dark <laughs> that beast dark bro it's it's gone you <laughs> it's, it's gone dude oh i think this is a great way of finishing up this youtube video my man not easy catching this gar out here man we only had one right in front of us at this spot over here Whew, and gazillions of turtles man i had to keep casting that cut bait and the turtles they would just woo, flock to you you know not cool man not cool anyways put the numbers up over here that gar could potentially be our 129th species of 2023 it all depends what that tilapia is right i'm going to go back home later back to philly i'm going to identify properly looking at the books distribution of invasive species down here around clearwater tampa could be a mozambique tilapia uh, it's definitely a member of the oreochromis genus according to my friend felipe so we're going to find out later I'm going to leave one last shot of that tilapia over here. So again, if you know what it is, please let me know. Comment below this video, you know. All feedback 
is welcome but that being said wow what a wild day huh half dried pond to bass fishing to little creek fishing to exotic tilapia finishing up with a gar which is one of my favorite species out there what a day of exploring man that's why i love florida because down here in florida you never know what you're going to catch all right thank you very much for watching today's video tie lines fellas and i will see you all next adventure no now you're just messing with me dude it can definitely sustain life i would tell you that much dude isn't that what they call a soft shell a spiny something nose turtle yo i've caught one of these back in pennsylvania and this one is not being shy at all dude they bite they these things bite and they they got a nasty bite not like a snapping turtle but this one is actually very very calm close to a human being have the locals been feeding this fella what is going on here see it's just it's slowly swimming away yo if this water can support something like that impaired or not there should there should be some fish over here dude i tied on a z i tied on a z spender i got some epf swim here with me i got an arsenal of euro tacolures the only thing i don't got is live bait but dude that is crazy i mean that is not a small one either you know Who would have thought crazy turtle? A crazy big turtle. I, I don't even know if I ever seen one of these in Florida before. Truth be told. Dude, it's so friendly too. Well, anyways, alright, let's cast the Z spender all around the margins here and see if there are any fish around. Nothing even following the Z spender. Oh, something on the Z spender. Oh, it was a bass, dude. Dude, there's a there's at least one large mouth. <laughs> this is unbelievable, bro. In the little pool of water. Dude, this is just like a tiny pool of water. There leads to like a shallow creek. Little bass just got my Z spender right over there. Did you folks see that? I'll be glow, baby. I'll be glow. I seen a few locals walking around here looking at me like I'm. I like I'm excuse me like I'm crazy you know dude there's fish here bro there's at least one bass I love environments like this what I mean is I didn't really plan on fishing this place at all you come over here dude and you find fish what did I catch that doesn't look like a fish though no what is this it is a fish dude first the species of the day oh it's in the mouth it's it's in the mouth baby you see that that little treble hook right there it's a mexican mojara i'm gonna put it in the bucket here from tampa they actually have the mayaeros almost here in tampa